what I assume they'll do is they will select Ukrainian soldiers um, who are already tank trained. Now, as I said at the outset, a T-72 tank has a crew of three, not, not four. So there's already a problem there. The reason why they have three is because they have an auto loader in the tank, not a bloke to load the gun. OK, so that's that's the reason for it. So what I assume they'll do is they'll take soldiers who are already um, well versed in tank warfare so that all they will need to do is learn the technical skills to operate the machine, not the tactical skills. So, it, you know, the, 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 the art of driving a T-72 is very different indeed to driving a Challenger 2, but it's it's not rocket science. And what difficulties do you foresee? Well, first of all, 14 tanks is not very many. Um, and in addition to the 14 tanks that they deploy, which equates to around a squadron in, in British terms, they would also need to support that squadron with mechanics and technicians to keep the things running. A British tank crew would start life as a, as a um, crew driver, as I said, and would then qualify as something called a driver mechanic, um, which enables him and authorises him and qualifies him or her to perfect or affect minor repairs to the tank. So the biggest problem they're going to have with just a small number is they will also have to provide whatever the Ukrainian equivalent is of the RIMI, the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. Um, they are a kind of paramilitary AA. They turn up and repair things um, as and when they break down. And each squadron in the British Army has what's called a light aid detachment, commanded by a staff sergeant or a TIFI, with um, Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers fitters in it who can fix the guns, fix the sights, fix the electronics, and more importantly, fix the engines when they break down. The, the uh, Ukrainians will need to take take their equivalent to Bovington or wherever it is they're going to be trained and train them in the technicalities of Challenger 2 repair. And so given everything that we've discussed, how long do you think it'll be before they'll be operationally effective with these Challenger 2 tanks? Good question. Um, I think my, my personal view is, and based only on um, guesstimation, is that they will bring a, a formed tank crew to the United Kingdom or somewhere else to be trained uh, and they will both give them a crash course, no pun intended, on the, the, screw, the crew position that they're going to get into. So they will be trained probably to a very basic level in about four weeks, four to six weeks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.